Well, joining us now is the director of Scottish Vote Leave, Tom Harris. Thanks for joining us this evening, Tom. Let's pick up on some of the points that Lord Hill made there. It's in the UK's interest to be in the single market because it gives free um, tariff-free access to 500 million people. Would we really want to give that up? Well, we should give it up, but it really is no surprise that Lord Hill, Britain's only EU commissioner, wants to keep his job. I don't blame him for making that particular case. But let's remember that an awful lot of EU firms, financial services firms, have relocated to London, not to take advantage of the EU single market, but to take advantage of the global market, which is growing at an exponential rate. And we can take advantage of that outside of the EU. Of course we can. Well, on that point, um, you know, as we heard from Barack Obama recently, America wants to strike trade deals with the whole of the EU, not especially interested in striking deals with individual countries. Um, and that uh, approach is mirrored by other countries, Lord Hill says. And Barack Obama also said that the UK would be at the back of the queue when it came to trade deals if we left the EU. Well, I mean, it's very strange that under Barack Obama, America has actually... Uh, finalised a trade deal with Australia and it took less than two years to do it and Australia is a much smaller market than Britain. We're already the biggest external investor in America and vice versa and that's without a trade deal. You know people want to do business with Britain because we're the fifth largest economy. You know we are a leading player economically throughout the whole world. People will do trade deals with us. What would our relationship be with the rest of the EU then if we were outside the single market? Um, it's been estimated that around 3 million jobs are dependent on our trade with the EU. I mean, would that not be jeopardised? The 3 million jobs figure uh, is based on research of a particular academic who has already said publicly that that is an appalling interpretation. Well, how many jobs research. are dependent on that now? Well, obviously we, are, we have jobs that are dependent on trade. Britain is a trading nation. We will continue to trade with the EU because remember the Lisbon Treaty itself put into effect a commitment of good neighbourliness, as it's translated, which means that the EU must maintain its best relationship as possible with its neighbours, even if those neighbours are outside the EU. We're in a trade deficit with the EU. We buy more stuff from them than we sell. But do you really think we'd get tariff-free access being outside the EU without any of the <coughs> responsibilities? I, I do think that, and I'll tell you why. Because under um, World Trade Organization rules, there is no precedent for tariffs being reintroduced where they weren't there before. And the fact is, you know, we are going to have very good relationships with the EU. Why wouldn't they want to deal with us? Why wouldn't they want to buy stuff if it's a good enough quality? And why wouldn't they want to sell us? OK, um, on the point you made about what we contribute, I mean, he disputes your figures, as you would expect. Uh, but that aside, he says that the advantages of um, being in the EU outweigh the cost that, you know, geo, uh, influenced geopolitically and um, being in the single market and about the issue of security. Well, I mean, security is a complete red herring. I mean, there is a, there's no security advantage at all. But in terms of our contribution, we are the second largest net contributor to the EU. At a time of austerity, it is quite a challenge to our elected politicians to say that we will continue sending £350 million a week to the EU while we're cutting services. We have an opportunity here, actually, for a Brexit bonus, for, a, for billions of pounds of money that is lost in the EU coming back to Britain and being used to fund our own services. Why don't politicians want to actually take that ad advantage of that instead of constantly complaining about the cuts to services? OK, well, um, thank you very much indeed for joining us, Tom Harris. And it is five weeks today that we go to the polls. <coughs> You'll be looking forward to that and counting. I'm looking forward to the day after. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure we'll speak to you many more times before then. Tom, thanks for joining us.